Hi, my name is Dr. Provost, and I wanted to quickly say, in addition to the disclaimer, that although you're about to see me demonstrate an injection on myself, I do not obviously advocate or recommend anyone inject themselves. That being said, let's get to the video. This is how to inject a knee blind, meaning without ultrasound guidance, using an anterolateral approach. All right, so a little bit of history. I was mountain biking nine months, eight months ago, and I had a nice crash, and my knee has been hurting ever since, and it's been getting worse lately. So, tired of it, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna inject my own knee here. So to find the spot, you have your patellar tendon right here. So you press on it, and you see that little bulge? Mm -hmm. That's the joint fluid. So that's the general area where you're gonna be injecting. Um, you can also palpate the joint line and then just move medially. And that intersection is going to be where you're going to inject and I'm going to mark it. Mark it with a fingernail. And then clean with chlorhexidine. right there and what you can do is go like this to open up the joint space a little bit more there we go so three two one stick see how that slides all the way in that's an inch and a half needle I didn't meet any real resistance. So this is a great method. It obviously has its limitations for people who have bone on bone arthritis, but just cause it's hard to get in the actual joint space. Not too bad. Here you can put it up towards me. <laughs> See, I'm okay. <laughs> All right. And now I'm gonna take it easy for a week. I'm gonna ice it later after my uh, 10 and a half hour shift here because it's seven in the morning and I'm the first patient, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna take it, it usually takes about three days for the steroid to kick in. So, voila.